with a picture of the Colts 2014 AFC finalist banner, which was a game. Yes, Brady and the Patriots won 45 to 7. Tom Brady doesn't miss anything. Shannon, did Dungy have a point? Skip, why you roll your eyes at me, Skip? I did I'm not. I'm rolling my eyes. Skip, I did not. All, look. I think the people have the misconception. You egged them on. No, I didn't skip. <laughs> you goaded him. No, I didn't skip. Yeah. I think sometimes people think that I do these Dateline or 60 Minutes and I got a gotcha. <laughs> I just ask a question. Skip, I had a, I had Gilbert Arenas on there. And I asked Gilbert, I said, well, why, what made you sign with the Wizards? He told a story how A. Polian said, I will give you whatever you want if you get me out of this Michael Jordan haze. Skip, I did, I, did you know that? Did you know that's why he signed? I didn't know that. So he told the story. People upset at me said, I'm a hater. How am I a hater? Gilbert just told a story. I didn't ask him. Okay. You Tony, sure you didn't put Tony up? I didn't this? put Tony. Skip, you know, look, all I do is like, if you got anything you want to promote, you got anything you want to sell, let's know, let's get that out the way first so we can go ahead and get, you know, the interview and talk and back and forth. And I just ask him, Skip, because uh, I follow Coach Dungey and I say, Coach, you caught a lot of criticism when you said, the toughest, that Tom Brady wasn't the toughest or the greatest quarterback that you've ever coached against. That's all I asked. And so I was like, I, so I said, you want to clarify? The, the, the toughest to play, play against. against. Right. Yeah, not toughest, like right. physically. Right. Okay, got it. So yep. I'm, so I'm, you want to clarify? I said, what, what was the criticism? He's, and now Coach Dungey goes back. People don't know. People don't realize that Coach Dungey actually played with the Steelers. He led them in interceptions one year, Skip, the year they won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he said, I got tired of being traded and bounced around, and so I got into coaching. He was defensive coordinator at uh, Pittsburgh. He was a D.C. Uh, uh, in Minnesota and Kansas. So, Skip, so he, he's been around the block. And he says, for me, Shannon, guys that have an, an added dimension of a legs, that's what – I'm judging, and I'm not saying, and he said, I'm not saying Tom Brady wasn't great, because he is great. He said, but the fear of a John Elway or Steve Young or guys that have, Aaron Rodgers, that have legs to get out of harm's way, we got the perfect defense call, and there's nothing there. He could take off and get a first down, or he could take off and then throw the ball over your head. So that's what I judged it against. But <clears throat> now Brady did go, now, what Jenny didn't mention, that he's talking about 214. Coach Dungeon had been retired almost a decade by then. So that wasn't his team that he, the 214 finalist. 2014. That, right. Yeah. Tony, Tony wasn't the coach then. Okay. Chuck Pagano was. The last yeah. time he saw Tony, Tony beat him in the AFC Championship. Now, you remember that, 38 right? 38 to 34 you, at Indianapolis. You, you remember that, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, now, Brady did go 5-3 and three against Tony Jundy, 2-1 two two and one two in the player. Yep. And Brady had 14 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Uh, that's not the greatest. But this is what Skip Bayless. Now, I've been trying to tell people, and people, have, and you can know I'm not capping or lying in this situation. Mm. Skip Bayless has told me countless times Tom Brady would never respond to criticism like a LeBron James does. Mm. Michael Jordan would never respond. And lo and behold, what we found out is that Tom Brady is human, mm. that he will respond to criticism. Mm. Tom, I appreciate that plug. Club Shay Shay, we got like five, six hundred extra followers, subscribers. Thanks mm. to you. Appreciate that. But, Skip, I, I, I just think that Tony Dungy has a point. Skip, I don't take offense. So if, you rank Tom six. No, 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 no. I don't take offense if someone says Tony Gonzalez or Jason Witten was tougher to defend. Skip, they're bigger. They may have bigger catch radiuses. They're tough with they're tough the tackle. They're 240, 250. Shannon was 225. That's okay, Skip. That doesn't diminish what I've done. That doesn't diminish what Tom's done. Because someone else might be tougher, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't diminish what you've done, Skip. that all you got to say for yourself? <laughs> well, I can tell you. By the way, before I launch on this, and I'm about to unleash on this, I... I the story I read, he doesn't identify the fifth quarterback. I, I count Peyton and then Aaron Rodgers, John Elway, Steve Young, but there's got to be, there's one missing link here to get to six. Does he have don't Tom look, six, no, no, fifth, no, no, or six? No, don't get into semantics. Mm. It, he's just not number one. Uh -huh. Where you and most people would have him on everybody's list, he's not number one. Okay. So, so let's deal with that. All right, now I'm going to deal with Coach Dungy. He is obviously a spiritual man, Very. a religious man, mm -hmm. and for that I have the utmost regard and respect. But in a football context, this is pure blasphemy. <laughs> for all the respect I've had for Coach Dungy, 
he just undercut about half of it How? with one statement here because it's just preposterous. It's just foolishness. It, it's just such utter disrespect for the obvious goat at the toughest position to play in all of sports, quarterback. And I, I get it that, you know, if you want to say running quarterback, moving quarterbacks, mobile quarterbacks yeah. are tougher to defend. But he started with his guy, Peyton, right? Yes. Because that's the guy he coached right. in Indianapolis. They did win a Super Bowl mm -hmm. in the rain in Miami against Rex Grossman. As well, the as opposite, the opposing quarterback. Well, you won't want to give Jerry Goff. Okay. But Jake he's, DeLone. He's won six out of nine that he played in. And remember, he should have won two more. He, he should have lost three. No, he should have won two more. He had Eli beaten with a 65-yard a drive with two minutes left. He threw a touchdown pass to Randy Moss. And all Belichick had to do was stop Eli Manning from scoring a touchdown. Not a field goal, a touchdown. And Tom wins another ring. All Belichick had to do was hold Nick Foles under 33 points. And Tom has a – wait – an eighth So ring. what about the Rams? What if they just stopped Tom and not let him get in field goal range? They didn't. Okay, then. They didn't. You can't have it both ways. Well, one team well, didn't I mean, stop we're him. We're not talking about the Rams. We're talking about Coach Belichick. Skip, I'm saying you said he could have more. I'm saying he could have less. Okay, so Tom Brady is 30 and 11 in the postseason. Okay. Peyton Manning, his guy, is 14 and 13. And I want to remind everybody. Peyton Manning in Indianapolis, seven times he lost his first playoff game as a Colt. Okay. In those seven times, once he was a one seed and twice he was a two seed, and they lost at home in their first playoff game Yeah. when, when they were the toast of not only the town but of the league. Right. And they blew it. So, so Tom, that was so, his reputation. So Tom Brady never lost his first playoff okay, game? Okay. Well, no, but he's, he, again, he won six out of nine okay, Super Bowls. And what is Peyton? He's two and two. Yeah. And what happened to Peyton? He got annihilated by the Legion of Boom, 43 to 8. Yeah. Tom did not get annihilated. He annihilated the Legion of Boom in the fourth but quarter skip. with 124 yards passing and two touchdowns just in the so fourth quarter. So when did we get quality points for, 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 for close okay. losses? 43 to 8? It, it, was, it was over like that. As it, you it, was, it was over. Okay. And then... It, it was a seven-point game against New Orleans, and Peyton Manning threw a pick six. Remember Tracy Porter took yes. 78 yards yes, to the house? Yes, I remember. Okay, so you blew that one also. So so how can we put Peyton Manning above Tom Brady? It's just it, it's so, foolish. So, so you're just looking I, at, so you're okay, just looking at Super Bowls. No, but, you're not looking at anything okay, else. But I, I get it because Peyton is his guy. But now I don't get it because Aaron Rodgers, 10 years ago, won his one and only Super Bowl. okay. John Elway, you played with him and for him and, mm -hmm. and love him, and I get it. And he's all time. He's in my top five. He was two and three in Super Bowls, and he got annihilated a couple times. I promise you, the reason why John Elway ranks so high on everybody's list is that the team that he took to the Super Bowl, nobody else could have got him there. Mm. Okay. Nobody. All so right. how many Hall of Famers on those teams that John took to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. other than Elway, how many other players made the Hall of Fame? Okay, fair enough. I got it. But still, is he better than Tom overall? I don't think so. I, I mean, I get it. If, if he's your guy and you want to fight no, for him. No, but here's the thing. Some people, and we, uh, we almost did this topic. Randy Moss went on T.O.'s podcast and says he's one, T.O.'s two, Jerry's three or four. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, Randy Moss was tougher to defend mm -hmm. than Jerry Rice. I would some say that. Some people might say T.O. was tougher to defend mm -hmm. than Jerry, or mm -hmm. he was tougher than Randy. Okay, that's their opinion, but that doesn't mean, Skip, that you okay. take anything from Jerry. So, so Coach Dungy put Steve Young ahead of Tom Brady. You just can't do it. You've lost all credibility How? with me. Skip, skip. With me. You've lost all... Steve Young had one, a two, long, one, long term how many reputation. Super Bowls did, how, long, how many Super Bowls did he win? He won one in one try. Okay, he, okay, he, he won and oh. He, he, he won and oh. Like he Aaron won Rodgers. But he got two Super Bowls. He got two regular season MVP mm -hmm. and a Super Bowl MVP, and he threw six touchdowns in one game. What's the most Trust touchdowns me, Tom I, threw in a game? I, I went through so many years of Dallas versus Steve Young. Yes. And they just didn't have a lot of respect for him. They thought that he would crack and he would crumble that he would throw it to them as much as he threw it well, to his Well, if guys. they just thought that, why'd they go get Dion? Well, well, if they thought they had enough to beat him, okay, why'd they go get time? Well, well, why did Jimmy Johnson call a radio show 
to put it in big headline that we I guarantee a win over Steve Young's 49ers when you have the better, in the NFC Championship the game same, is because of Steve Young. The same reason Dabo Sweeney voted Stop Ohio it. State 11. So when he believed you got the superior team, do you that's think what Steve you Young is better than Tom Brady? Skip, I, that, 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 that was Coach Dungey. That was Coach Dungey. What are you doing? You now you've you, you've left me behind. You've lost me completely. Skip. He's, so now let's talk about mobility, shall we? Anybody who really knows the position of quarterback knows that Tom Brady has some of the best pocket feet in the history of this game. I'm not going to say he's at the top of pocket feet, but he is an absolute ballet dancer in yes. the pocket. And it is difficult to master the footwork, the, the subtle movement required to buy a little bit of time to open a lane to find your third options. It's hard, and his feet are be beautiful to watch if you know what you're looking for. Is he going to take off and run? Obviously, he's not. He ran the ugliest-looking 40-yard dash in the history of the combine. I give you that. He also has ballet dancer feet in the pocket. Skip, I would like to think Coach Dungy played the quarterback position at Minnesota. He was a defensive back in the late 70s with the Steelers. So we're talking about 40-plus years. That might be longer than Coach Belichick has been in the National Football League. Mm. And he was on those great Steelers defenses. And he knows great defensive players. And he knows what caused those guys problems. And so for you to say, well, because Tom Brady is so great, well, he is great. That's not what Coach Dungy is saying, that he mm -hmm. isn't great. He said the guys that caused me the most problems, I just knew Tom wasn't going anywhere, and if I could stay, if I could just get my guys in the position, we had a better chance. With these other guys, I could be in the right place. Mm. But because of their legs, Skip, they could get out of harm's way when Tom couldn't. That's all he's saying. Mm. Skip, don't make it more than what it is. Well, I'm making it a lot because he may put him sixth on the list. Okay, he's, sixth? he's fifth. Fifth? Who's who's fifth? I don't know who's fifth. Maybe, 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 maybe you're talking about Joe. Coach Dungey got confused. No, he didn't get know. confused. Maybe he just had a bad day. No, yeah, I don't know, Maybe day. he's trying to hype your podcast. No, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> maybe he was trying to drop a little bombshell so Sh Club Shay Shay could get some no, national that, attention. No, that, that's not what we do. Well, although a lot of people have picked up some of the things we say. But Skip, no. <laughs> because someone is tougher for Skip. It's like it's it's a it's a a, a, taste, a like factor. You might like this, and I might like that. That doesn't mean that that is better than this. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I get that, but I'm calling hogwash on Coach Dunn. What hogwash? Skip, the man has been the man has been a defensive coordinator all these years, and he said the thing that gives them trouble. And he also said, and I hope that uh, we release that part. He says people don't understand the huge benefit of having a defensive coordinator as a head coach. Mm -hmm. He says, because what I did on Friday is that I called the D-Scout team against Peyton in the two-minute. Mm -hmm. So I had a good idea so he would see this is what defensive coordinators are thinking against sets, against formations, against down and distance, area of the field, situations. Mm -hmm. So what? Who, is the, who people say is the greatest situational coach in NFL history? Coach Belichick. Who's the greatest mm -hmm. defensive mind? Coach Belichick. Mm -hmm. So you don't you think that played off immensely mm. in helping Tom? Mm. Like I said, I believe a lot of general managers, you put true serum to them, if Coach Belichick had Tom had a Peyton Manning, he'd have 10 Super Bowls. Mm. Where was Coach Belichick at the end of the first Eli Super Bowl? All he had to do is one stop, one stop. Eli went 75 yards for a touchdown to win the game. Skip. All, just one stop. Skip, he had to where, get, where was Skip. Coach Belichick against the backup Skip. quarterback for the Eagles, Nick Foles, who hung 41 on him? How where much, was he? Let me ask Genius you a question. I just or want, not? I want to know one thing. Mm. Where was Coach Belichick mm. in the Super Bowl against Seattle mm. when Malcolm Butler dropped the play? Mm. So you never give him credit no, for I that. No, I give him that. But, but it took Tom. They were down 24 to 14 going to the fourth quarter. But it doesn't matter. It's the Legion oh, of Boom hold on. Well, that down. had destroyed Peyton Manning. Let me ask you a question. They were down how much? 27, 24 to 10? 24 to 14. So, 24 to 14. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. How many more points did the, the offense score? Mm. Not another point. That's Coach Belichick. But you won't mention that. I all did you, mention that. No, all you did is say that Tom Brady came back from 2014. Against you, the highest degree of difficulty, 20, the Legion of Boom. So, but he did, an all-time great secondary. Coach Belichick didn't let him back in the end zone. Hmm. Remember, that's what the one time that Coach Belichick let a team in the end zone, mm -hmm. they lost. Remember Philly? As you mentioned, Eli, 
They lost those Super Bowls, Skip. Mm. But the times that he kept them out, they won. But you won't give him credit for the wins, only blame mm. for the losses. All I know is that in my humble estimation, <laughs> Coach Dungy is dead wrong about this. And I'd say most of the world agrees with me on this. Good look at that, Coach you. Dungy. Yeah. <laughs> He owed me one. He was solid. He was on my radio show when I was on Serious Skip. Mm -hmm. He used to call me. He was my guy on Mondays. Oh. So, Coach, he owed me a favor. I so, he called and gave me a solid. Chat with him. He, he seems did. like he now you know, show. Skip, you just said that Coach, Coach Dungeon is honest, a God feared man, a church man. You think that man would lie? <laughs> That's all we got to say. That's all I'm going to say, You're getting Jenny. some good guests. You're getting some good guests, though, Shannon. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm waiting for you to put Skip you think, on you the think, You think Tom will come on? Time. I need time to come on. Your yeah. he, he needs to come on here <laughs> and put you in your place. Let's, thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.